Okay, well I was uh <clears throat> I was supposed to um I guess bring my uh camera when I came back here, but I forgot. So I'm going to have to use the cell phone which is probably not the very good quality, but anyway, so I haven't been here for a couple of weeks now, so I guess I'll check out the results of my experiment with liquid papers and god knows what else was in there it does appear to have frozen kind of um oh shit it smells really bad let's observe ah. um yeah this kind of looks like scientific discovery I don't know if there's any geological activity in there mm, no traces of blackness must be a Mel Gibson fan wait a minute well here it's interesting here we have little rocky thingies there kinda looks like salt I don't think I put anything like that there mmm Weird. And here. Oh no. Wait a minute. It's kind of a mixture between God knows what, God knows what, and God knows what. It's sort of like grayish and. Hmm. What I'm gonna do, I guess, is just put it in storage. And, uh. Wait until I can think of something else to do. Because uh, there's not much stuff in here. Unless you want to play video games or something. What do I have here? Mm -hmm. Mario's Time Machine or... Or SimCity. Pretty fun game. Oh yeah, I love this one. Mario Kart. Ugh. It's been a while. Am I still filming? I think I must have turned it off by mistake. Hmm. Whatever. I'm gonna clean up here because I got things there that um, have been here for God knows how long. Oh, this is zip drive. Hmm. Well, not much stuff in there. Mostly things nobody cares about. Yeah. Keep courage. It's um, it's the I guess localization of of a video game that was based on some anime a long time ago. Wataru, I think it was called. Well. Some guys who would transform or something. This is some arcade stuff, Space Harrier. It's pretty good. It was really fast paced uh, kind of thingy there. Uh, I don't know what other stuff I've got laying around here. Heroes of Might and Magic. Uh, what else? Oh well, old things. And... Paper quarters. Not if anybody uses that anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. iPod. 
the way they used to to be, I guess. I don't know how you open that anymore. Put a tape in there and Yeah, so anyway, I I'm kind of at a loss uh, to what to make here. I could make a a ginger ale and Rice Krispie Squares cocktail or something. Um, anyway, I'll complete this video when I have an idea, which might be in a long time. Who knows? Well, it's uh, November 23rd, Wednesday, and uh, it's the first day of snow here in the far north. Remember this place? I was uh, a Sambuca pilgrimage a long time ago. A plane just crashed there, and uh, yeah, so. Um, Uh, people following me. They're running really fast. I think they've got weapons or something. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, no, it's just... It's an old lady with her dog. Her. No, it's a couple of old, uh... Italian-looking weirdos talking on their cell phones. I ah, forget it. No matter what it is. The Sambuk is there. Ah, so we're safe. Ah, Sambuk. Ah. It will make it all go away. And there's a little guy over there. I don't know if you can see him. Uh, because he's pretty far away in the picture. But he's putting the little Christmas sign. on the. He's hidden by the tree so he can't see him. But I can. He's putting the little Christmas uh, sign there. That was there last time I came with the video, but that wasn't there until yesterday. See the little Christmas thingy there. So yeah. Uh, I think I have an idea what I'm going to cook now. Because I have to eat something. Alright, see you guys. I found my new passion in life. Fun bubbles. Wait a minute. Uh, oops. Okay. I don't know if it's safe to put it. It was on the ground. I don't want to get STDs or anything. Wait. It's not working. Okay. Ah! How does this work? How do kids do all these balloons? 
Mm, I made a few. I could be doing this like all day. Yay! My god, I love this so much. <laughs> okay, ah. I'm gonna actually try to cook something. Uh, something healthy this time. Something that's eatable. Um, boil some water. And put it on the boil machine. So I'm gonna make some vegetable stuff. So have these green peas and these uh, lentils so you get the proteins and also I think I have some vegetable here uh, I have this baby out and uh, oh shit that's not what I have I'm running out of stuff what else for vegetables so I'm gonna put an apple instead and um well, maybe olives. It's not really vegetable, but and um, mm, something for the taste. Uh, this stuff and um, mm, some vegetable juice maybe. And uh, for the taste, I guess popsicle. Okay, maybe some mustard and um, honey. That's probably it, I guess. Mm. Some of this stuff. Okay. I think I have, well, it's not the expected ingredients. I thought I had more stuff, but you know, it's like improv, you know. But when you're cooking, you don't really know what it's going to be. Okay, so. Let's wait until this thing uh, starts to boil. Okay, the water's boiling, and uh, as it was uh, heating, I left my camera here, and it was too close to the thingy, so there's like, I think the screen started to melt a little bit or something. Anyway, so, uh, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna start with the ingredients, and the thing about uh, kitchening or cooking is that the order in which you add the ingredients doesn't really matter, because the only important thing really is what you've got in there because it's the nutritious value you know like if you read on the back of the box it says like you know like how much uh, thingies you have on this thing so it just adds up with the other ingredients it doesn't like you know, mustard for the taste Oops. it's like pea <laughs> Mm, wait a minute. Okay. I hope it doesn't stick to the bottom. Um. Okay, some honey for the sugar and the taste. It gives a little bit of calories too, so it's good. Calories are good, gives you energy. Okay. And uh, apple cider vinegar. It's like it, uh, vinegar, it's like an acid, so if you've got bad stuff in your body, it just melts it away, you know? Okay. I feel like an alchemist or something. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna add uh, the peas. Um, uh, okay, it starts here. I 
I don't know why cooking makes for some reason there's just something kind of sexual about it, you know. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not like a cannibal or anything, but it just I don't know, kind of like a feeling I have. Okay. And just so that you guys know, I'm very pessimistic about this recipe because you guys can't tell from your computer screen, but I can tell from here because I'm here in person and the smell coming from this isn't good. So that's a, always a bad sign when you're cooking and it doesn't smell good. Um, but, you know, bad signs aren't generally, you know, it's not automatically means that it's bad. You know, it's like, you know, if, um, like your dick turns green or something and you think you have an STD and you go to a doctor and he tells you it's nothing. So it's the same thing with cooking. I mean, it smells bad and you think maybe it's going to taste bad, but then it actually tastes good even if it smells bad. So it's, it's difficult to, to know, but okay. I wonder what happens if you had uh, kosher and halal ingredients in the same uh, uh, recipe. It's probably going to explode or something. What are you going to say? There's a little thingy inside them, so wait. Ooh. I think it's gonna melt. Yeah, it smells so bad. Ooh. Ah, that's weird. I need to put some perfume in it or something. Okay. Um, ouch. Um, We're going to take out the wooden stick later. Um, I think it's... I think it's rotten. Okay, so we're going to put in the apple. And, um, this stuff, it's like, I don't know what it is. It's some Arab, uh, pistachio thingy or something. Um, oh, pistachio, there it is. It, it tastes pretty good. Yeah. I hope they don't uh, put me on a terror watch because I eat the Arab uh, candies, but um, <clears throat> you never know these days in the world we live in. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll wait until the apple gets absorbed. And, um, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's time to take out the popsicle. And, um, I think the bad smell I was feeling was, uh, it wasn't the recipe, it was the rotten thing, uh, aubergine stuff, whatever you call it. Okay. Now I'm going to have to cool it off because it's hot. Uh, so I can't actually taste it until it, there's a temperature change. So put some ice. I think.
think one day I'm going to make a recipe that works so well I'm going to become a billionaire. And all the bodybuilders in the world are going to be buying my recipes at uh, you know supplement shops instead of buying uh, whatever the hell it is that they, they buy there. Okay. Um, how am I going to taste? Um, hmm. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Yeah. Let me give it. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh man, it tastes like rotten vegetable juice if I leave this on the counter for a few months and then I drink it it tastes like that oh boy ah shit okay well whatever I, I know it sucks but at least you know I, I had to, to cook something because it's been so long but yeah uh, don't get killed guys and uh, yeah so that's uh, how it is and if uh, you guys are still alive uh, I'll make another cooking thingy uh, eventually and in the meantime I'll just go sleep or something so oh shit I forgot to put it in Nutella that would have been a nice addition to this recipe well maybe next time then bye bye guys <laughs>